So there's a couple of ways of looking at that question is uh, how do I have soft hands or well, my problem is soft hands. That's also a very multifaceted question. It doesn't sound it, but it is. Okay. Because people are often confused about what soft hands are. Okay? So I am so gentle with the horse that it dominates me. And it's in my hands totally and it's it's really dictating to me what's happening. Now I can't have soft hands if that's happening. So I think the one thing you've got to really distinguish is never pull strongly if your reins were loose first because that's a jerk and that will damage your horse. Okay. And never do that with a fixed bar in the mouth like a pelham. It's got to be a jointed bit that gives a little bit. But if a horse takes hold of you and you pull back reasonably strongly and hold and the horse gives and you give, now you're creating a situation where the horse is sensitive to the pulls. Now you can have soft hands. Because so you're creating a situation that allows you to have soft hands. Correct. You're training the horse to actually allow you to have soft Correct. hands. Correct. So here's the other problem that what you do with your hands also makes it apparent with the well, it, it shows from the horse's reactions. If you're holding the reins with your palms facing this way, that's an arm pull. You've got no finger or wrist. If your hands are palm down, if you're riding with two hands, and the reins run from outside your hand to your finger and forefinger, okay. and you're holding there, you've got a feeling with your fingers. And not using Not your into your palm either okay. way. Okay. And not running through this way, because here you've got no finger feel. Here you've got finger feel while you're holding the reins in okay. these fingers. If okay. you are playing a sport or riding where you use one hand, if your palm again faces this way, you are going to have a fist. And that's an arm pull. Where okay. if you point your fingers and you cradle your reins, now you've got that feeling and also your wrist is now soft. So that is also soft hands. Okay. okay? And the last thing that nobody ever thinks of with soft hands is don't ride with very light reins. These synthetic reins might be great in rainy conditions and the thin little reins might feel good in your hands but the horse can't feel that weight. Okay. So how do you communicate your, to your horse without it being a jerk? If you've got heavier reins then that loopy rein to the horse you've got a feel of the horse because every time you move your hand you can feel the horse's reaction and it can feel the movements of your hand with no pull. So before the rein is tight, it's actually already the, getting a the feel movement of the movements of yes, your hand. Yes, because it can feel the weight. Okay. So all those things would contribute to people being able to ride with soft hands. What okay. they're doing with their hands, how they're training their horse, and the equipment they're using. Okay, brilliant.